Hello, it's Jonathan here, DJ Puff the Third. <laughs> Just been watching um, YouTube, one of my old subscriptions, Wild Warrior Bill. Now I must have been following him since 2013 14, and recently in his videos, he's been plugging the. Um, Meteorite Island, he's been doing a series of videos of a sacred Aboriginal site that's been damaged by his local shire. And I noticed that it was one of the older videos. He has been again recently, but this was an older video from back in the day. And he was on the surface finding ancient tools from early man or pretty early not entirely sure how old they are but it reminded me that i also have an ancient tool that i found in london while mudlarking i did find another one recently um nearer to home in a local park it was smaller the um, tip was decayed and no, the tip had fallen off. It was the flint that was decayed, but I haven't shown this yet. It's a piece of perfection, and I found it at Vauxhall on the Thames. And the only other thing that I found of any interest on the Thames was a ginger beer bottle at Putney. But I thought that I'd show this ancient tool that I found. It was some years ago now. But I found a, a flint knife and it's almost two inches long. And when I saw that video again replayed from years ago, I could tell instantly when he picked it up that Billy had found an ancient flint knife that could be hundreds to even thousands of years old. So I'm going to show mine now because I haven't shown it before. So we'll swing it round and we'll take a look at it. Hopefully Billy will see this. It's in my hand now, so. And here it is. Ancient flint knife. From the Thames in London. Flint. And you, it, you can tell that it's a good quality flint, a black brown flint that came from the chalk. You can see the impact area was at this end and it flaked off the core. You'd have a, a core flint and they'd be sitting there napping up the core and little flakes would come off different size flakes and this is a pretty big one and the back the back of it is literally perfect you can see all the tiny little chips on it where it's been worked the edge of it look it's almost shark like it's the edge of a shark tooth almost and the point is just perfect that hump you got this two sides and the hump it's just fascinating try not to move it around too quick but fantastic specimen it really is you can see the shock waves that went through the flint as it broke off. You can see them curving the shock waves in the flint as it cracked off. But turning it over, I'm not entirely sure if this tip, this uh, this corner here, whether it was supposed to be smooth like 
the other three sides, the top and the two sides, whether it should have continued like that there or it was damaged in the process of making it. But it is a complete flint knife and it could be as old as 10,000 years. Many, many hundreds to at least 10,000 years. But I'm not sure whether that is later damage or it was struck like that when first made. But what an amazing, amazing ancient relic. I did send emails to the, the Museum of London, but I never got nothing back because I did want to take it in and get official have it officially identified and have some documentation but it didn't happen but it's perfect it really is and literally it fits into my hand it is at least an inch and three quarters long and you can see the hump at the back and then it goes up and then flattens out to a point. So it literally, it, it goes concave slightly and the top and then oh, flipping it, it's just a, a masterpiece of flint napping. I do have another one, but unfortunately I don't know where the, the most recent one is. But I hope you like it. It's one of my best finds for sure. And one of the only few decent finds I found on the Thames on the foreshore. And this was from Vauxhall. So I think we'll end it there. Give us a thumb up if you like. Hopefully um, Billy Sherman will see this. Because this is the English-British version of what he found at Meteorite Island. He found the little ones, the cream ones, back in the day. Yeah, so, very nice. I think I'll end it there. I'm not sure if I can find the other one. <laughs> it must be around the gaff somewhere. And if I do find it, it's it's the same as this, but it's creamy, decayed flint and basically the tips off of it. But if you look at it, it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same as this one here with the heel and the shape how it was struck off the flint it's exactly the same but i don't know where it went but anyway thanks for joining me i've i've not shown this item before and i thought now is the right time really look at that it's just fantastic it really is fantastic beautiful item and i think we'll we'll end it there i've got to make a move i've got to go into town I've got to get myself a coffee and then later I've got a, a massage with Ali's IED Healing Hands London. Uh, try and bring myself down a bit and we'll catch on the next video. Bye for now. Oh yeah, still putting the last of the um, German hip hop at um, Four Courts Peckham Rye up and I've still got other music videos to go up including the rest of the um the broadcasters at the oval tavern but due to my just time concentration health um videos going up is very slow but eventually all these music videos will go up these live music videos will go up but i thought i'd just show you my prize Neolithic flint or early man flint basically wonderful item bye for now